Honestly, I believe training sets an environment so that you're always pursuing knowledge. I think formal training maybe gives you 40, 50 percent of what you need. It's that continuing training out in the field and the standards and behaviors. It's really important for everybody to get engaged. This is your business. This is your livelihood. The best ideas are out in the field. So you can have 3,000 good ideas, but if you can align 100 or 200 working together where we're all moving in the same direction, then that, that's a powerful change. So it's not about every single idea. We need every one of them. But we need to then challenge it, pick the ones we're going to do, and then we need to move together as an industry to do the right thing. Well, probably the, the one of the biggest ones is standardizing our end processing across the entire industry and that helps us, it helps every plant, it helps every vendor. And frankly, we can do it with much more quality and safety than we're currently doing it. So that's just a great example where we are, we all do it individually, we do it similar. There's not a single regulation that makes us do that. It's our own personal uh, plants and, and our own area. So move together as an industry, that, so that'll be one. But all the initial training over years, we have added and added and added. I want to be clear that this effort is about being efficient, effective, and maintaining safety. So just because you're getting more efficient doesn't mean you can't stay just as effective, maybe even improve it, and certainly improve safety. I've seen this industry go do dramatic changes, and we've always improved safety and performance. But over time, we've built up years of bureaucracy and all. So we're asking not to just think about how we're doing it, but to go back and say, how would you do it? What's the new technologies or the new thinking? Then go back and look at your core business again. Make sure you keep that core business. And don't forget, we must come out of this safer and with high performance, maybe even higher, while we're improving our efficiency. I think one of the biggest differences on this one is, again, we're trying to move as an industry holistically and together. We're trying to again build on what we learned from Fukushima. Our industry has been coming together for many, many years and we train together. We have the same regulator. We've done courses at Impo. We've done evaluation. So over time we have come together and then we learned how to magnify that and use that. So that's really what's different about this effort. Uh, if you're looking at cost cutting, I'm really looking for cost effectiveness. So. How can I do this better, better quality, better safety, and more cost effective? The people of the country and frankly the world needs nuclear power. They need the carbon free generation. We must go take this on, take it on hard, and go do the right thing. And it does not mean cutting corners, it means rethinking, protect the core, protect the safety, and do this the right way.